I'm going to begin with the message today. A different subject. Now, uh, on the voice of God, I hope you know I cannot finish. A voice of God will be to us in the money is also. Some of those things we keep on doing the past time because. Sin a voice of God will be to us in the money is also. We're going to deal with this subject for a number of weeks. Understanding man. Psalm chapter number eight. We'll just begin from this one. What we want is in this four, but let's just begin. Understanding man. And maybe let me uh, give you the vision for these teachings we're beginning today. The vision is we want to get to a place where we can maximize our potentials the potentials that God has given us as men number two we want to get to a place where we are going to effectively operate as men two things number one we should maximize. Number two, to maximize our potentials. As men. Number two, to be able to effectively operate. As men. Okay. O oh Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Every time I read this verse, what I'm saying is yes, I God, this is not our discussion. Every time I read this verse, I, I begin to understand the greatness of God in a higher way. Can you imagine the Bible says God has established His glory above the heavens? Did you ever thought there is anything above heavens? And God can look at the heavens from a certain place and the heavens are down. And He can stamp a glory on top of the heavens. Where is he? Where does he live? It's not about the heaven. What's what I'm saying? There are many heavens. He says he's above all of them. So there are eyes heaven in this. That's where God has stamped his glory. And Jesus said that I said I'm going to my father. Then I will come back to you. So that where I am, you should also be above the heavens. That's what I told you. Going to heaven is not a goal of a Christian. There is no. Alright. See, when, when, when I, I read this that I don't want to discuss, I get tempted. Next verse. Out of the mouth of babies and sadlings hast thou ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and their avenger. Next verse. Should silence. When I consider, begin to pay attention now. When I consider thy heavens, that's another revelation. When I consider your heavens, because men have got their heavens. And the heavens of men are not 
the atmosphere is above them. As physical atmospheres. The heavens of men are the spiritual climates that controls happenings in their lives. And that's what the Bible says. Your heaven can be opened. I will open for you the windows of heaven. Which heaven is this? Your atmosphere. Because it was God opening the windows of heaven. Everybody is under heaven. That means once they are open, the blessing will come on everyone. But it says it's specific for you. That means we are discussing about your heaven. When I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, it's not even the work of his hand, it's the work of his fingers. Wow. There's some verses when you understand them. Worship is not an option. No. The moon and the stars, these are preceding creation, which thou hast forgotten. Next verse now. So after appreciating all this creation, it comes to a point where he says, Lord, when I look at all these things, I am struck. No, sir. But this one thing is bigger than all. I see your power when I look at your heavens. I see your power when I look at the stars and the moon. But when I come to this thing, I do have a question. He says, Lord, what is man? What about to do? Not who is man, what is man? What about to do? Yes. I appreciate your heavens. The moon and the stars. Yes, also my the works of thy fingers. But when we come here, what is man? What about to do? That means and also what you, he discovered that God Almighty seems to be paying a very close attention to man more to know that to every creation. What is man? What is man? He says, What is man? I don't want to judge him. Ladies and gentlemen, if we can get to answer this question and understand the answer, we are going to change this world. I want you to understand this prophet who is giving this question is one of the prophets that I hear so much in the whole Bible. It's the man that had an in-depth revelation of the life of the Messiah more than any other prophet. He saw the birth of Jesus. He saw the life of Jesus. He saw the death of Jesus. He saw his burial. He saw him in hell. He saw his resurrection. He saw his ascension. He saw his coronation in heaven. He saw his reign forever. He saw everything. And yet, this one thing he was not able to understand. What is man? Okay, now by the time he's asking, but he said, Yes, but he says, Lord, I may also be a man. I am breathing, I know. I am talking, I know. But when I begin to consider, I don't have the understanding. He's fine. What do you Man could see against God. And God could see. I am living you. Okay? He gives them over to other nations. And they are destroyed. But after some time, man is not coming back to God. God can go back to man. I said, I know you loved me. I know I left you. 
yourself. You know that the forever doesn't happen. Show living peace. Nyama for. Some of us You know that all those things in heaven. Angels of all kinds. Glorious Glorious beings. And yet the Bible says, man, Utu, is a God. David says, what is man? That was made him a little lower, so King was very rich, a little lower than Elohim, than God. And has crowned him with glory and honor. Next verse. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. All things. Sing this also. Can you say this with me? That one is what you mean. I am above. Can you remember? All things. What is this also? I am in dominion. Can you remember? All things. What is this also? But now, hear this now. Do you believe this is true? You believe that? Okay. Two things. Number one. This is the Old Creation. 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 Okay. It's not the New Creation. Which is much better. Than the Old. So if the Old Creation then you can imagine how powerful is the new creation. Okay? Two, that we, even if we are to stay with this old creation, my question is, if this is true, how many people, even in the old creation, also, which means while it is true the problem that is there is that man not a Christian yet man doesn't know himself doesn't know how to operate doesn't know what he has doesn't even know his potential man not know the born again man Let, 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 me, let me give it to you in a more understandable version of today. Okay? Hi, Fozzi. Are we here? Okay. In today's version, tell me, did God make aeroplane? Huh? I know you love God, but be honest. Did God make an aeroplane? Can I remove the jacket? Because of what's a jacket? I'm so busy, can you see? I'm going to miss it. I'm a very bad fan. Hey, I'm a profit. I'm a very bad fan. 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 Okay. Can you move the window? Praise the Lord. Man made aeroplane. Okay. Do you know that an aeroplane suspends some laws of nature? Like law of gravity, for example. So man, without, because the one who made an aeroplane was not born again. He didn't have the Holy Ghost. He wasn't talking in tongues like you do every day. Man made an aeroplane. That we can sit in that craft and we see it levitate and flies and we have the assurance that while we are here, we are safe. We will reach the destination. I know there are those who always think I cannot take an elephant because 
It can crash. Because I won't want they are no road accidents. But it was a big accident. So I tell them it's more safer than a car. Than a car. It's true. So how many times do you hear of the plane crash? It is very sophisticated. It is system. Very sensitive. That when it crashed, it means we have tried everything. You know what I'm trying to tell you? I'm trying to show you the greatness of a man. Anything without God. Then you can begin to understand that a man with God can do. With God, you. You know, it takes the revelation that you have. Who is God? Amen. 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 has begun projects and God gets up and says, hey, look at Genesis chapter number 11 Genesis chapter 11 <laughs> man begins the project on the earth and John goes what is what happened what did you do you did now get the baby from NIV or NLG or NLG or NLG Church, I want us to read together. To anybody who wants to change. Anything, Papa, Mister Damizin. I said, "Zona, can you see?" Okay, read with me. One, two, three, four. At one time, all the people of the world spoke the same language and used the same words. Next, as the people migrated to the east, they found a land in the land of Babylonia and settled there. Next. They began saying to each other, Let's make bricks and harden them with fire. In this region, bricks were used instead of stone, and tar was used for water. Next. Then they said, Come, let's build a great city for ourselves with a tower that reaches into the sky. This will make us famous and keep us from being scattered all over the world. Stop. Stop. What was the plan of God for man? Multiply and fill the world. Man says, we will not. Wagamba, Chabuno, Koma says, take. And see the plan of man. And what is the plan of God? You know what God said? Nimafana wati wona. Did God say that? No! God didn't say, these are babies. I'm wiser than them. Let's see where they can go. Let's see what God did. Next verse. Listen now. But the Lord came down to look at the city and the tower for people were building. Next. You have stopped reading now. Let's read together. Next. This is God, right? Okay, one, two, three, go. Look, he said, the people are united and they all speak the same language. After this, nothing they set out to do will be impossible for them. Next verse. Come, let's go down and confuse the people with different languages. Then, they won't be able to understand each other. Okay. Verse 6, give it to me from the King James. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they will begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. This is your God. We call the Almighty. This is what they have decided. Nothing and no one will be able to stop them. 
In other words, they can succeed in opposing my plan. But what is mine? It's just one of the examples. How that man began a project and God looks down and says, I know my what's happening here. I know we know a mighty God, thunderous God, but you also have to know He's a God of principles. What He has established, He doesn't break. Are we together at the back? Huh. What is mine? Ladies and gentlemen, as my last one, there is so much in the man, but it's what you look at that what man has discovered. Very shortly, we are about to see a wonder. That's how the wonder one is going to If rapture is not happening in any of these days. Now, I don't want you to interpret what I'm about to say with your theories. Okay? There is what is known as artificial intelligence. Whereby a man takes his intelligence and puts it in a, in a living thing. And that thing begins to respond as a living thing. I know you will say that Satanism, the Antichrist, and all that. I'm not saying no. But whether it's an Antichrist, but it's man doing it. So forget about the other part. I'm not saying it's not so. I don't know. What I'm saying is. It is the expression it's what it's of what man can do without God. Oh, I remember when oh, Dr. Jerry in South Africa, Dr. Jerry said, she was, he was challenging the same woman. That is a piece of my dog. And suddenly he called for me. What did Sarah need that? And I was surprised. And was was from the Everybody was minding his business. <laughs> I said, he's calling me. I went. I found them in a discussion. The woman is a Christian. She fears God. She loves God sincere. And the discussion that I found is that they were discussing. The woman was concerned how that artificial intelligence may be the works of the devil. And when I came in, she said, Pastor, can you imagine? And she explained all those things. Isn't this the devil? Is it your And I'm like, if I say it's the devil, it's against what I know. But if I say it is not the devil, she's already decided. Listen to me. She talked of a robot that's in South Africa. I can't show that in the name. Sophia, yes. That's the name of the robot. See, she said that this robot, robot that is grounded somewhere. But when you go to it, it begins to respond. You ask what's your name? It answers you. My name is Sophia. And she said, when you are talking rubbish, it gets angry and it shouts at you. When you talk uh, emotional driving things, she can cry or she can laugh. It's happening in the world. Without God. Now, I'm not despising the works of God. So I hope you're getting my point here. I'm trying to show you because everything man is doing, he didn't find it. It is God who put it there. So it's not against the will of God. Listen, the 
much does man have? Even the simple things. That is open us. How easy it is that I can be talking here and I'm using a microphone. My voice is getting here and it's transmitted there and it's getting to you. How? Photography is the work of man. Wisdom given by God. That you can capture a video. And somebody can watch it later. Wow. Okay. But now, if man has been made by God to be all that, number one, let's understand how much more can the new creation do. Those who are because they are greater. We are greater. Hello? Number two. Church me. As we stay with the old creation, let's understand what is the composition of man. And you can do that. Genesis chapter number one. Genesis chapter one. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. I can't wait. I can't wait to do something. Big man. And I'm walking in church with my kids. And tell them, shh. And the dreams of my lives. Mm -hmm. Oh, somebody. After that, you ask me, how many children do you have? I'm like, hey, no, I have plenty of them. Of course, I'm asking for biological children. I'm a fool, 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 i am a fool i Maybe that's one of the communications. But I give it to you. Are we in Genesis 1? Genesis chapter 1. Let's go. <laughs> Someone is saying, I receive. Let's begin from verse 26. Chapter 2, verse 26. And God said, Hmm. I am. And God said, Let us make man in our image. Stop this. I want your attention right now. If not, you don't get it Sit down and give 
very bound. Not the father. Not the spirit. I wait. So there was someone known as the word of God who is God. But he didn't have a body. No personality. He was God. Okay? He was not just with God. Son 
mana Rukoti wangu rukoti It's confusing That's why Tumaja Jesus said Yes what that When we know uh, Philip had asked said Father Show us the Father And we shall be satisfied But Jesus answered and said Yes what that Have been typing with you Sitting there for such a long time Such a say Show us the Father He says He who has seen me has seen the Father. He didn't say that if you have seen me, it is as good or it is as good as you have seen the Father. Never say that. Jesus, you saw me, you saw the Father. What does that mean? So tell us that. Are we together? Did you want to go? He says, Great is the mystery of godliness. Great is the mystery of godliness. He says, Great is the mystery of godliness. Look at this place. What are you? It says the word. I want you to know. It's the brightness of His glory. It's what I want to know. And the express image. We need to show it to everyone of His person. Tell them to one. I want you to know the church. You want to go to church? This is the word of God. The Son of God. So when Jesus walked on the earth, he was the express image of God. The Because of what he wanted to do, the only way was that 
you should take up flesh. So at that time, never take it. Follow me. At that time, for the reason of that need, God must manifest in flesh. Father, that the Father may be only known. 
Okay. But the Bible says 
Lack of understanding destroys people. Child. 
ndrafi za kaji mikani mwana wakazi wangu ya kwenye 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 osa hila kwenye 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 I still believe that people can change. People can but I just want him to change on his own. Let him come. Change. You are not a mate of husbands. See what is making husbands what they should become. Let a king come with a crown. Moses, Moses, Moses did this. 
make sense? We can have one more. So let's stick with this here. It's just an example. Thank you, Yabi. This is half one. Before the hour, he. I'm going to have a self study. Okay. Hey, come on, yes, sir. This is half one, right? Before the hour. He wants it. You are beautiful now. It's not his. Yeah, or why? What's the only way to take it? What is the only way to take it? By force. That's what he wants. He wants people dead. But he knows I don't have the power to kill them. They have to give up. So I should do something for them to give up. What does he do? Yes, sir. 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 You know the struggle that is here. She wants to keep the phone. She wants to take the phone. Like the devil wants your life. 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 Like the we are going to get the win. We are going to get the buy. We are going to win the win. I'm not going to have it. She will leave it. Why? Because at this time, the bed is too much. I better let this expensive phone go. Than to suffer pain like this. That's how men die. Amen. That's how men die. I'm not saying they are fools when they die. They are pain. The devil uses pain. To make people to motivate people to win the game of their goals. Number one, no one is going to force you to die. No one is going to force you to die. Mwaka isa kaipano kwa na 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 k
fora de Zadá, a mãe dele é grande. Eu sei se assim, né? Como a mãe dele é grande, 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 I remember in 2014, 2014 I, I had fasted. Yes, sir. You know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Hey, you see that, man? The way fasting by itself means stay without eating. It's also part of diet. Yeah. 
time. So he releases that kind from your spirit at that time. It's not for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's over the people who can work out for the next moment. Don't say what me. So who can do this? No, who's that wrong? So it happens you you go to the mountain to stay there for two weeks. You are coming down. You feel as normal as your mom is feeling. Yeah. Six in the morning, three days. Six in the morning, three days. It's because they don't know for the how the spirit functions. They didn't see how much feel. Who can remember? So my girl, who was about to stay up, she's not only by the soft thing about shit. If you don't it's not a must for pastors to feel the anointing. We don't move by sight or by feelings. I can lay hands on you without you feeling anything. You are the one feeling it, we know. How many times did Jesus pray for people? Because he was saying it. See if he goes up, you know, you. These things are not control. Are we together? They have a control. It was not because he wants to see it. The Old Testament was a symbolic dispensation. So when God wants to emphasize a point, he will use the prophet as a drama. You are going to marry a prostitute to demonstrate the prostitution that Israel has done before me. That's God's doing. 